Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your latest Business Boost video tip. And in this video, I wanted to talk about what my coffee, uh, healthy coffee smoothie can teach you about business. So you might be thinking, what the hell does coffee and smoothies have anything to do with business other than the fact that you can sell it to create a business, right? Now, I'm, I'm here to kind of give you like a philosophy and a, and a way in which I choose to live my life. And that is a principle of stacking, right? What I mean by that is I like to do things that give me multiple benefits in my life. So if I'm going to do one thing, I want to know that there are at least two or three or four, or even five times the benefits of me doing that one thing, right? So in other words, um, I talk a lot about, you know, how like time management is kind of like a fallacy. It's not very real, but that's just how we kind of measure our day and how we go about you know, measuring kind of things out, if you will, it's kind of a layout more than more than a truth. And so it, it is good to obviously compartmentalize what it is that you're going to do and the times at which you're going to utilize it. But the more important thing than, uh, than actual time is energy. So energy is everything, right? And that's why I'm so big on using uh, uh, this, this uh, philosophy, philosophy called stacking. So if you're going to do something, you need to get this at least two times or more the benefits me personally, I, I like a multitude of benefits. So, for example, the reasons why I have smoothies, I mean, yes, they taste great and I like drinks and I don't like necessarily eating vegetables or fruits or anything like that. But if I can put one in a drink and I can down like a liter and it's going to give me a ton of uh, benefits for that one particular thing. Hey, Rachel, thanks for joining me. Um, so the reason I use that philosophy, not just in my health, but in my life as well as my business is because you can stack things so that there's a multitude of benefits to what it is that you're doing. Now, before I go any further, my latest blog post is I did actually post about um, uh, a healthy like coffee smoothie that I've put together. I, it took me a month to kind of get the, the ingredients just right, but I've gotten to that point now. Damn, it tastes good. Not only does it taste good, but I don't get any energy crashes and I get a dick load, sorry, my language, I get a lot of benefits from this one drink. So, for example, you might be thinking, oh, yeah, you know, it's just a coffee. It's going to wake you up. No. If you go and read my blog post, what you'll find is that this healthy smoothie recipe that I use, healthy coffee uh, recipe that I use, actually has 10 different components to it. And each of those components has a multitude of benefits to them. Okay? Going back to the stacking principle that I'm talking about and what it is that I like to do with my life. So... The way I apply that to business is everything that I do, I want to know that it has multiple benefits. For example, right, if I'm going to drink like this uh, the smoothie, right, I want to know that I'm going to put in as many components as possible to really give me that health kick that I really truly want. Right, again, I just wrote a blog post where my one healthy coffee recipe has more than 50 benefits and I was limiting each benefit for each thing that I added in there to five. There are a lot more than five, but I wanted to limit it to five just to kind of respect the size of the blog post, if you know what I mean. Like, by me reducing it and not actually writing my, my personal opinion on those 10 different components, I was able to push the blog post close to 1,600 words. If I was to add my opinion and all of the benefits, you'd probably be talking around 2,500. And let, let me be honest, the reason why I wrote that blog post was to show you how you can stack things to really benefit you and your business and your life. Into one little drink, I can kick start my day and I'm ahead of 95% of the game, right? I'm ahead, way, way ahead of people. Before I'm even mentally awake, I'm already ahead of the curve health-wise, right? Throw in there my morning rituals, my morning cardio, and you guys wonder why it is I have so much energy and why it is I'm being able to bring so much enthusiasm on a daily basis with these videos, with my blog posts, with, with my emails that I write, yeah? So again, apply this principle to business. What, what can you do today that's going to give you a multitude of benefits moving forward? So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's great to sit there and prospect with someone if that's what you choose to do. Everyone knows I hate prospecting. I'm probably the most anti-prospecting person on the planet. But here's the thing. Here's the main reason why I don't like prospecting. Number one, yes, it's very, very invasive, right, which I don't like. But the other reason why I find I don't like prospecting is because there is really only one benefit from it. You, pros you sit down and you prospect with someone, and if they say, yes, great, you get a sale. If they say no, then that's the end of the conversation. So literally all of the effort and the energy and time that you put into that conversation, right, 
is based on one single person benefiting. Now, I put these videos out on a daily basis, and when I syndicate them properly, properly it reaches between 350 and 500 people. And I'm, I'm only just starting, you know, regaining my momentum after being off for so long. I mean, seriously, like I, I've been inconsistent for two months now for a myriad of reasons, right? I spoke about this last night. So imagine I'm already, I'm already reaching 350 to 500 people with some sort of message doing one single video that's only 10 to 15 minutes long. Do you think I want to spend that 10 to 15 minutes creating this one video or do I want to spend one to two hours prospecting and annoying the shit out of someone and seeing if maybe or maybe not they might be interested in buying the shit that I'm trying to hock off to them, okay? I hope you kind of see how it is that I apply what it is that I do. I don't just go out there and do shit for the sake of doing it. I look at the multitude of benefits and try and figure out how does it benefit me, how does it benefit somebody else, and how does it benefit the whole scheme of what I'm trying to do long term. You know what I mean? So here's the thing. Not only is this video now available for me now, but I can syndicate it onto other channels, onto audio channels like SoundCloud. I could really put together a podcast if I really, really wanted to, although I'm pretty sure with all my language, they fucking kick me off in like five hours. <laughs> anyway, it's not the point. I can syndicate this video onto YouTube, right? I can syndicate this video onto Vimeo. You know what I mean? Like there's so many benefits from doing this one single video and that's how I like to attack my life. I like to sit down and study on a daily basis because it benefits my mind, right? Which gives me a confidence boost which, which then allows me to do what it is that I actually do. Multiple benefits to everything that I do. Blog posts. The moment you write one blog post, that's one little soldier that's going out into the uh, internet stratosphere, if you will, that's working for you 24-7 to make you money, right? One blog post, multitude of benefits. And I started this philosophy from day one because I always kind of looked at things long term. And I understand that having a long term view of things isn't always the greatest. I completely get it, right? But that's how I choose to build things in my life. I try my best to live in the moment, right? But I build for the future because I don't want to be about the moment because what happened in 10 times, if I'm, if I'm going to go for instant gratification all day, every single day, where the fuck is that going to get me? Frankly, nowhere. It'll get me the front aisle of the, of the uh, grocery store buying, you know, $1 chocolates, you know, having shitty health, right? Prospecting people and annoying the fuck out of them. You see what I'm saying? Like, again, I, I hate to come across as such an anti-prospector because I know there's money in the process, but the benefits have already, like, don't, uh, for me, the benefits don't uh, justify the amount of time and effort and energy that needs to go into it, not to mention uh, the, the invasive methodology that it's based upon, okay? So think about what it is that you're doing with your business and how, how it benefits every single thing that you do long term. For example, consider writing a blog, you know, for, this, for the reason I just said. Every single blog post that you write is a little soldier out there on the World Wide Web that's, making you, that's bringing you uh, prospects, clients, potential customers, 24 seven, sleeping or not, that blog post is out there. Consider doing live videos so that you can connect with people on a personal one-on-one -on -one basis. Again, syndicate the videos and start getting into hundreds, you know, and then you get people like Ray Higdon who are touching people, um, people's lives by the thousands just doing these little videos, right? That's how you truly leverage your time. That's how you truly stack the benefits in your favor so that the one thing that you do has a multitude of benefits for you and the person that you're serving, all right? So that's what my coffee reminded me today of why it is that I do what I do and my philosophy behind life and business, which is stacking. Stack everything so, hey, fuck it, if you're gonna do it, you may as well get the max benefits out of it. So, and I, and I apply the same thing to my smoothies, to my shakes. I don't just get like protein shake powder and shake it up and drink it. Like, I have uh, protein powder, maca powder, chia seeds, flax seeds. Uh, spinach, right? There are so many things that I throw in. It's probably more powerful than my, than my coffee drink. But my, again, my point is this. I'm hoping my point gets across. Think about things that you can do once that's going to benefit you a multitude of ways and times. That's how you truly leverage your time. That's how you truly leverage your energy so that you get the max benefits from every little thing that you do. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. If you want to check out what that healthy smoothie recipe uh, coffee uh, smoothie is, I've just published it on my blog post. Go ahead and check it out. I'll pop the link in the, uh, in the description here so you can click and check it out. You're going to love, you, you're not going to believe the amount of benefits. Again, I wrote 50, but there's actually literally somewhere between 100 and 150. I just limited it because I wanted to respect your time. I didn't have the freaking time to sit down and write all this shit out. This is like literally like five years of gathering nutritional alternative information, right? Not 
falling into what the what I've been taught, you know, like the, the food pyramid. You want to talk about pyramid scheme? That's a fucking pyramid scheme. So not falling for the typical and accepting the average, right? But going out and doing my own research, um, putting it into my body and see what kind of benefits come from it and finding ways to maximize how it benefits me by stacking it. All right, thank you so much. Take care, much love, and I'll see you again tomorrow in our Business Boost video. Peace.